Not looking good for a keto. Mm. Yeah, activating a uh, focus this time might be a good idea. Support defense, I took it. I just gave myself a better chance of dodging. Okay, I'll cover it. Oh, it countered! I countered this time. Oh, bolt, but, bolt gun, don't need no one to cover for him. First things first. Um, spirit focus. Let's go. We better start getting down there, man. Spirit. What do I got left? I got alert. I got wall. Missiles on this guy. Repair. Knife on this dude. Still dodged. Finish this punk off. Whoa, how far back are you in levels? Yeah, you guys are kind of need to get them levels back up. Can him? Uh, you? Smash him. Stream mode's been activated. Finish this guy off. Go. Focus. Let's go. Shoulder cannon. Fire. Here and wait. And our focus. Let's take a look what it does. Do I still have, yeah, I still have wall. Shining finger. Let's go. The barrier. this thing. Uh, 
And you're done! Because of Knuckles. Wall. And... Wait, I attack with Keto. Yeah, phase end. Distortion field. Support defense. Oh, dang it, Chibity! That's just stupid. Oh boy. Evade. She was hit. Yeah, we gotta go help Akito now. He's kinda getting overrun here. Uh, fire the missiles. I have not seen this attack in a while. That's what that was. It was distortion fields. It hit. It did a lot of damage. Oh boy. That's where the missiles come from. That's not good. Yeah. I can't. I got her. Actually, hit. Oh, shut down the missiles. Oof. Hmm. Akito, you're kind of in trouble here. Oh, crap, you hit my bud. Get her own HP back up. Repair you. Pegasus, Excel. Focus. Let's draw our lance. Uh, focus. I'm gonna leave this one guy behind for now. Hmm. Wait, you got it. Wall. It's already activated. It's because it was a support defense. Spirit, focus, spirit, break. Let's get rid of this guy. Your focus is for good measure. Let's watch it. You fool. Well, yeah, he's kind of a fool. He's attacking a horde of giant robots. Or is this a spaceship? I, I don't know. It's a spaceship, I think.
did, did nothing. Dang it. For sake of our ideals. That won't hit me. That can't hit me. Oh, best of love, Ryoko. Kill this guy. Air focus. Get rid of him. We want less enemies shooting at you this next turn, Akito. Cover none. Port defense. Ah, the Budley, the Bible did it. That's a long reach. Dodge. Ah, he took it. And he got back. Oh, luckily I missed. Not going well for Akito. Mm. Oh, Akito! That actually hit. Whew. Oh, but he actually hit it. What? Daunt. I guess that's all I got. Repair you. Land. Let's go. Thank you, Bolt Gundam. I guess. Let's take him out. I don't care who you are. I'll crush your body with my fists until I claim victory. Come on! Interesting. You dare challenge the Dajin? Let's duel. Huh. This hand of mine glows with an awesome power! Its burning grip tells me to defeat you! Take this, my love, my anger, and all of my sorrow! Shining Finger Sword! Go to hell! Go on, kill him. Kill him. Dang it. Die, Geki Gun Punch. Those are some big fists. Those are some big fists. Ah, dipping and dodging. Oh yeah, I cut everyone's at technically all their abilities in half for a turn. Focus. Let's go. I don't give a darn if you're Kadoji or not. Jerk. There's no mistake that you're the enemy, so I won't hold back on you. This is unforgivable, Earthlings. Come on, Dajin. What am I using? This will finish you off. Dekokan! Isn't that the sword? Yep. 
Dan Korkan! Slash. Crits. Yep. Mmm. You don't have enough energy attack back. Ooh. I can't believe I'm actually going to try to kill something of Vulcans. Can you see it now? Your future reflected in my eyes. Oh, a Mew. Oh, it took no damage. That won't work. For the sake of our ideals. Come on, George. You can... Pull a clench dodge. It appears that counting this is meaningless. Okay, I'll get him. It's fire. This might actually kill him. Off, all hands, evacuate! Oh, it's officer. I said off. Why did I say that? Cause you're a moron. Shut up, we're 52 minutes in and now you're just starting to talk? Attack. Oh, that won't work. Move. Finish it. At least finish this guy off. Tech Lancer. Let's go, Pegasus. Roger. Why do you dodge? Crap, you hit. <gasps> oh. You mm. Oh my god, only Pegasus got hurt. You I I'm going to crush you. Well, just, just die already. Even if you have a gravity blast, you still have to hit me. And taste it, you shall. Behold the full power of Dajin. Heh, <laughs> this is the end. For you. Super Alloy Z, ooh. No, at this rate, I have no choice. I have to make a strategic retreat. Well... Too bad. I'm gonna send him back to fight off those two ships. That ship and this guy. Take care of it. Attack. Missiles on this guy. Spirit, focus, last focus. Let's go. Yeah, every kill, every attack they make is going to be a kill.
Oh, he's out of ammo. Dang it, George, you took the hit. Miss, miss. Miss, punch. Oh, he's dead. Come on. Ugh. Whew. Missed Alan Dakokin. Okay, I think Tekoman's now getting a little pissed off. You just destroyed Pegasus, and I gotta repair that now, and I'm a little pissed off at that. Focus. Let's go. Come on, George, let's move back. Uh, George needs to repair. Guard. Well, hit him! Well, attack up! Okay, you finish this guy off. Wall, oh, wall, st you still have wall activated? Actually, I don't think I've seen this yet. Fire Blaster. I'll finish you off with this. Fire Blaster! Bam! It's basically Omega Breastfire. The auto distortion field probably won't help. Oh, did not help at all. Breastfire just ate Fire Blaster, I should say, ate through that like butter. Excel. Spirit. I plan on doing something with that. Let's do this. Let's sell this with a gravity blast. Preparing gravity blast. Firing. Fire! Boss! Try to wake it one more time. I thought I turned that off. Oh well. Prepare yourself. Dan Kokan! for you to die. Wait, what's cheer do again? Do, do we... Oh, we can't use bless. Oh well. Let's go. Focus. Let's go. Uh, Ryoko's hit. Let's go.
Lucas. And BAM! End phase. Edgy kills the ship by himself. Well, another kill for the Grand Teed. Yeah, defend. Uh, took it like a champ. Last kill goes... to a Turbo Smasher Punch to the face. Remaining enemy unit, zero. Great work, everyone. Akita, are you alright? We did it. He said he wasn't Gradosian. I'm worried about the dock. Captain, hurry up and ac accommodate us so we can drop in. Oh, boy. Wasn't that bad damage. Still sucks. The new ship, Shaki Shakuyaku, is the mostly trash. The damage was severe. If we were only here a bit sooner, we could have done something about it. But at least you have two base phase transition engines and the Y unit. Alright, you hurry up up. It has the same model as the Nadesco's, so we should be able to make up use of it too. We'll help. Yeah, leave it to me. You okay with this bridge? The Nadesco's electrical systems are totally different from the ones that this thing was meant to couple with. You're aware that something bad could happen when we plug it in, right? Yes, it's alright. Have faith. I'm sure everything will be turn out fine. You're absurd enough to risk blowing up the Nadesco? But if we don't use it, then it, it's, gonna, it's just gonna go to waste. Wasted? You're risking an Nadesco for an add-on? <laughs> Why not? With this addition, the Nadesco may get even stronger. Eureka. Akito, even though you're exhausted, you still came for your Eureka. Oh, I'm so moved. Those guys aren't Gradosian. What the heck's going on? I knew that, no matter what the distance, Akito and I would... Aww. Huh? He escaped before the questioning, so we don't know any details. I heard some talk about Megumi running off with him. What about Edgy? Does he know anything about this? No, Mr. Asuka doesn't didn't know anything about this them either. Miss Wan, the sh the sh chief wants to talk with you a little before leaving the ship. Can you meet up with her him now? Chief Freeman? Fine. So what do you want to talk about? Straight to the point, I see. You should still be a secretary in Nergal's president. It concerns that what you said about the enemy. Those known as the Jovian Lizards? You knew beforehand that they weren't Cardosians, but humans that lived in the Jupiter Sphere, didn't you? I expected no less from the Outer Space Development Group. You were the only institution with any chance of realizing that fact. Well, if you take into account that the Federation completely suspended any project evolving probing as far as the asteroid belt, and the subsequent Jovian lizards invasion them is no response. It's no surprise that I came to this conclusion. And now that your organization knows, what do you intend to do? The enemy is still the enemy. Even if you know their real identity, the war isn't going to stop. Ah, there you are. You're a cunning man, all right. So what do you, what's now? The Osphere needs time. If we leave things in the hands of the army, everything will crumble, and we can't have that, can we? So, that's what's going on with that Ak Akasuki and Wan, huh? They're awfully unreliable, aren't they? And since he's from the private institution, he can exercise a little discretion as he likes with no repercussions. Impressive, Chief Freeman. Oh, I didn't use- I didn't see you! Don't tell me you're asking us not to listen in on this juicy conversation thing you're having. No, 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 I don't mind. In fact, I approve of it. Keeping secrets inside the ship isn't going to do anyone any good. What do you mean? You're from their side, aren't you? How can you say that? Many new facts have come to light, so let's keep listening. One unscrupulous man. Hmm, what are you doing, Ruri, dear? I'm done. In that case, I'll tell this tale to the end. Of course, the Jovian lizards aren't Cardosian. They're Earthlings that have been pa banished for over a hundred years. It goes without saying that no entry of it was made in the annals, annals of history. At the time, the Federation who invent intervened 
in the Lunar City War. Lunar Civil War thoroughly, thoughtlessly suppressed the Sir separatists who claimed independence. In order to escape the Federation's hands, they fled to Mars, to the asteroid belt, and in the end, Jupiter. There were no records of the incident, of course, but they managed to survive the harsh conditions of the Jupiter sphere. And it was there they they discovered it. Yes, the ancient relic left by the gods who knows. God who knows who. The, the means to manufacture the phase transition engine. The unmanned weapons and the tulips. And so they built their own na nation with their own weapons. And now they attack us for revenge. Perhaps the Godosians made first contact with them. Forming an alliance afterwards for the sake of attacking the atmosphere. Now, if that what Edgy told me is true, that that means they're being used too. They're from the same race as the Earthling barbarians, after all. And so they shall not be treated as any differently in the end. That means their plan must be to force all Earthlings to fight each other to exhaustion. But the conflict isn't like the one between Plant and Earth Federation. The people of Jupiter don't see us as fellow humans, but as Earthlings. They do, don't they? But it's not like they were able to keep their existence a secret since Mr. Asuka made contact with Anesco and returned to Earth. That's why they've appeared today and opted for being direct. In that sense, it's easy enough to, easy enough to realize that the one real enemy on this front are the Kardosians. The conclusion proof of that is Mr. Asuka's obliviousness to who the Jovian lizards actually were. That's why we're also confident, of course, it's possible that some high officers of the Federation also knew this truth, but decided to sweep it aside. Though few in the Federation work together, and conceal the true nature of the situation, I see it now. So that's why they hurried us towards divulging the existence of the Gredosians in the first place. I also take it that the reason you sent this ship to Mars was to find another relic like they found on Jupiter, and take it out of their hands, am I wrong? No comment. Whatever our reasons were, still need power to put an end to this war. And as you can see, Earth's human forces are already at a brink. Big enough disadvantage. I agree with you on that point. By the way, what kind of role is your organization playing by cooperating with us? Do you want a voice to back you up in the Federation? I mean, don't tell me your intent to officially announce all this information, even if you know the truth, you still can't do anything about it. The Jovian Sphere is motivated by revenge. Even if you tell them they're being used by the Gredosians, the fighting won't stop. Nobody needs to know this. And with the pri with that prisoner's escape, nobody would ever even believe the tale. Sorry to interrupt. Shh, don't tell me you were listening. Yes, I was. And the rest of the crew, too. We heard everything. I didn't think Nergal would be this shady. It makes me furious. You people are so underhanded. That goes for the bosun jump experiments and the wrecked new model ship, too. I heard from the dock people that you were building it for yet another trip to Mars. You're even denser than the de dancing, deceiving the army. Well done, Mr. Freeman. You've certainly gone one heck of a poker face. <laughs> it seems we were beaten this time, Mr. Swan. Is that all you're going to say? They all know the truth. What are we going to do now? The real, the seal is off. We have the right to know the truth. Whose and for what sake we're fighting? If you don't didn't know before, it wouldn't make a difference either. Our enemies aren't only the Jovian Federation, but the Gredosians too. They're the ones trying to invade Earth. Telling them that their enemies are fellow humans won't work in this case. There are also the plants in the Radam to contend tend with. If you don't fight, you'll only suffer a terrible defeat. Knowing all this only makes you fight all the more difficult. That's why you didn't need to know. But the, don't the people who died fighting des them deserve to know the truth? I know that this pos probably won't change anything, but it still shows how Nergal and the army tricked all of us. Isn't that right, Mrs. Wan? So what you are, are you going to do? do? If we air out this long forgotten case, and it will do is minute the anti federation war that Plant is already waging against us. With this coming to a light, anti earth sediment will skyrocket. 
and at worst we may even have Plant joining up with the Jovians. What do you people think you're going to do after that happens? Indeed, like Blue Cosmos, Plant also possesses its own radical party that advocates the total erasure, erasure of naturals. It's led by Patrick Zala, the natural defense chairman. Ah! Saliva's starting to build up my mouth because I'm talking too much. If they find out about this, there's a good chance he'll manage to sway more power from the populace in support of his cause. The resulting menace may be even more dangerous than the Gredosians. And that... Is that why we're keeping our mouths shut about it? At least for the time being. Keep it under wraps until we say it's safe to announce it. Now is not the time for this to leak out. It would only lead to a trouble. Not just for Nagal and the Federation, but the entire Earthsphere as a whole. Okay, guys, that was This Is Our War Part 1. Tune in next time for This Is Our War Part 2. And hopefully I put... Oh, boy. So lunar frames all look the same. Huh. Wow. Well guys, I'm not going to upgrade anything now. I told you I'd upgrade it next episode. So, talk to you for now, and catch you all next time.